well, you asked for it. Today I'm making a mini ecosphere in this mini jar. So I need to get some water with hopefully a lot of critters in it. And some dirt. There seems to be a lot of cyclops and ostracods. And I also caught a red mosquito larva, but he wouldn't do well in a tiny ecosphere. Such a small jar is less than ideal to work with, so I'm going to use this funnel to get all the dirt and water in. So now all the little particles in the water need to settle down and there's also a little too much water in the jar. This cyclops decided it wanted to be in the spotlights. Now the water has cleared up and it's time to add some plants. I needed to find a plant that stays small so I decided to use this aquarium grass. And I'm going to try to get it in place with this bamboo skewer. Because I don't have any fancy aquascaping tools. Instead, I wound up using these tweezers to place a little rock on the roots just to keep the plant in place. I also had to add a little more water because some of it evaporated overnight. The number of copper pots in relation to other animals in this little ecosphere is quite high. And now, the most important step in building any ecosphere, sealing it off. It looks like this little boogie worm just pooped out of its head. It has been a few days now since this ecosphere is healed off and it's still doing fine on top of his big brother. I am going to make update videos on this ecosphere, so if you don't want to miss those and if you don't want to miss other projects, well you're going to have to subscribe. I hope you liked it, thanks for watching. <laughs>